Hey guys, so welcome to um, the video. I decided that instead of doing like a weekly vlog, I'm just gonna like vlog random parts of my training just cause the weeks were like very monotonous and I'm like, like there's nothing new here. <laughs> um, so anyway, today's video is gonna be long run vlog. Um, Today is Thursday and I just did a 45 minute shakeout run um, before my long run and I definitely um, went in the gray zone. So I did like a 7.30 pace and that was not smart of me. I should have gone way slower, but I was feeling good because yesterday I took my recovery run like at like a nine minute pace, which is so good um, because I'm usually so bad at like slowing myself down and I did it on the treadmill. Anyway, I did a shakeout run. Um, I have 20 miles tomorrow and I decided to vlog this whole experience because I've never run 20 before and it's like a very big milestone in marathon training. So yeah, today I'm gonna be eating lots of carbs. I'm gonna do like a mini carb load type of thing and just um, get ready and I'll kind of show you like what I do the night before. And then um, I'm driving out to my long run tomorrow. So it's like a 40 minute drive to this park that we're gonna run at. Um, I'm running with Avery and we're just gonna go slow, time on feet um, just to get the distance. So welcome to the video and I'll take you along. Okay hey guys, I just finished physical therapy and I just, it's so hot outside and I'm like sweating because they made me do some like tougher exercises today. So I got some Gatorade. Um, we're gonna drink a lot of electrolytes today and have a lot of carbs yes that's what we're doing to prep it's gonna be great it's gonna be great my i made a pact with my pt saying i won't go too fast and that i will stick to a nine minute pace at the fastest so we'll see if that happens okay people are watching me vlog anyway bye hey guys okay i just finished um a long afternoon of classes yes and I have been eating lots of carbs today, like so many. I've been drinking a lot, eating a lot, just trying to suck down all the carbs I can. And now I'm having a big bowl of pasta and we're gonna eat this. It's a Google Goodles mac and cheese and it is um, dairy free. So yeah, we're gonna eat this pasta and I also have some chicken and stuff and vegetables in there, but yeah, gotta get the carbs in. Okay, hi friends. So I am currently packing my during whoops run nutrition right now i am getting everything all set up for tomorrow i have my pre-run and post-run nutrition in my bag and um now i'm packing during run so right here we have an 18 ounce nathan water bottle it's a little handheld and then i have noon endurance so i put a scoop of noon endurance in here and this is just giving me a little bit of extra carbs um and i have four different gels in here and so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna alternate these are all the huma gels they're so gut friendly i love them I cannot do goose, I cannot do cliff, I just get so nauseous with those, but this is super gut friendly and I love it and it's like all natural sugar too. It just like the ingredients is like apple puree, cane sugar, brown rice syrup, um, chia seeds, sea salt, um, citric acid or vitamin C, and then cinnamon. And then these ones, the electrolytes and caffeine, they have electrolytes and caffeine obviously, so more. So I'm gonna alternate, so this will be at mile four, will just be a regular one, apples and cinnamon. At mile eight, this will be lemons and lime, and this will be electrolytes and caffeine. At mile 12, I'll do a normal strawberry one. And then at mile 16, I will do one more caffeine one with electrolytes to get me through. So that's the plan. I'll be having an endurance. I'll see how it goes. And then, um, yeah, before the run, I'll either have a bagel with peanut butter or a cliff bar. We'll see what I'm feeling in the morning. So that's the plan. Gonna pack this and get ready. I'm also drinking some tart cherry juice while I do this. Cherry Bundy's the best. And then I'm gonna foam roll a little bit and just relax. Lots of tart cherry juice. I do find it definitely makes a difference in my soreness for my run. So I love it and it's delicious and it really helps with soreness. Morning everyone. It is long run day. Um, I am all ready and it is like 50 something degrees outside so it's gonna warm up pretty fast and I'm very excited for that. Um, so I'm wearing like a crop top and shorts for my run which is gonna be so nice. Um, yeah I'm about to head to the park. It's about a 40 minute drive. Gonna meet Avery and we're gonna go run 20 miles. This is insane. I can't believe I'm running 20 miles. Uh. Okay we are parked. Um, that was like a 40 minute drive ish. Um, had my cliff bar pre-run and yeah that is now we're just waiting for avery so this is me um before my 20 mile long run stay tuned for me after my 20 mile long run okay guys 20 miles done 
824 pay. Sorry, I got a text message. But you guys, oh my gosh. That was, it was good, but it was hard. Like, oh, the last couple miles, I like died. Um, I fueled well, but it was so hot today and I didn't wear sunscreen or sunglasses. And I only had my 18 ounce water bottle, so I was very dehydrated. Um, but other than that, it went well. Um, except, you guys, I literally peed my pants, my shorts. So it's dripping right now. My feet are sloshing around in pee. I'm sorry. That's very Runners, we, you know, we don't have any boundaries. So. Anyway, that's the update. Avery's almost done. She has like a mile and a half left. So we'll wait for her and yeah, catch up with you later. But it was so hot. And then at mile 18 and a half, I had to stop to tie my shoe because it came untied. And as soon as I stopped, the floodgates opened. So I peed everywhere. And I mean, I just pulled my pants to the side, peed all over my hands, all over my watch, all over my shoes. My shoes are soaking wet in pee right now. Um, and literally as I was doing that, as I was completely like half naked, my entire butt and crotch showing, two cyclists drive by and they're like, are you okay? And I'm absolutely naked. And yeah, so right now I'm soaked in pee, got a 40 minute ride home. Um, and very thirsty. Anyway, I'm very proud of myself for doing that. I can't believe I did it. It was tough, but we did it. Hey guys, I have to did you about my pee. How, how you feeling, Avery? That was hard. Yeah, that was very hard. Discouraging, but encouraging at the same time. <laughs> exactly. I feel that. It's very hot and very dehydrated right now. And I didn't wear sunscreen, so. Yeah. This will be fun. I'm super red. Yeah. Good job. We did it. 20 miles. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's currently the day after the 20 miler and I just thought I'd give you an update. So yeah, yesterday I finished um, and just like a recap, um, the dehydration thing was real. Like I was very dehydrated on that um, and I thought I was hydrated, but um, those last few miles were brutal. So that's something that I really need to hone in on for the next one is just like figuring out how to get more water because I have my 18 ounce like thingy, but like or my handheld, but it just was not enough in that heat. So I'm definitely, you know, been focusing on the electrolytes today and lots of food. Um, so yeah, anyway, I was very tired the rest of the day yesterday, but I went on a bike ride with friends, just like a chill one. Um, and that was fine, but also I was exhausted. Um, and then today I woke up super sore and hungry, of course. I like made myself a bowl of cereal, but like 3 a.m., yeah or a couple bowls maybe. I've been ravenous today. So we've just been resting a lot and eating a lot today. I went out for a little stroll um, to kind of like move the legs around. But other than that, it's been a straight up recovery day. Um, and yeah, just trying to refuel, replenish. And um, other than that, I feel pretty good. And I'm very proud of myself for getting through 20 miles. Um, yay, so that's a big step and a big milestone in my marathon training journey. So I'm so glad that you guys are able to come along with me. Um, I'll definitely do more vlogs as these next couple of peak weeks of training progress. Um, but yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching my very first 20 mile run.